Welcome back to my Unreal Engine first person animation tutorial series. So today we're gonna start and implement the fire function for our weapon, so for our Desert Eagle here. So let's just real quick and look what we've done in the last part. So uh, when we equip our Desert Eagle here, we can see we did some weapon skins, an idle animation, and yeah, it looks pretty okay. So you can see some of these, so it's a bit lagging here, so when we are moving or something. So let's just go ahead and jump into our character. And here is the spring arm. So let's go ahead, set the speed to like 10 and let the maximum sp uh, maximum distance to 2. So now, yeah, it's also lagging maybe to three and set the distance to one okay it's also pretty laggy you turn around okay so um i think this looks a bit better and um, yeah, so let's go ahead and, and implement uh, first a line trace. So go into our character and create a new function and call it a fire, fire trace. And let's start with a line trace by channel. Oh no, line trace. Let's do a line trace for objects. Like this, the start will be our weapon and get socket location. And let's put it here. So put it into start, and the end will be the first person camera. Get the world location and get the forward vector so multiply the forward vector with a new variable or oh no not the vector so let's convert the pin to an integer or oh, not an integer to a, a float so put it here and call it range and then Add this together, those two two variables. Put it into the end. The object types just make array and add some pins, world dynamic, world static, and world and pawn. And now let's put the draw debug type to for duration and let's just go into the play input graph and just make mouse button left mouse button and uh, just trigger this fire trace so um let's also gonna add this target here and go into the play input graph trigger the function the target will be a weapon get child actor cast to weapon underscore desert eagle and get base mesh this will be the target the range like 2000 or something and the socket name just let's call it muzzle and go into the desert eagle mesh and add a socket so onto the slide Let's add a socket and call it muzzle and let's position it the front okay let's save and let's test it real quick so 
yeah we will shoot this little line here and it will always direct it to our crosshair okay all right so now let's um create a little camera shake so go to blueprints create a new folder call it shakes and blueprint class and matini camera shake select and we call it desert e underscore camera shake let's open it up and put the duration to, to uh, 0 0.25 so let's put on the rotation pitch 1 2 1 2 1 2 and on the location just put the X and put the offset to 0 and like one on each so let's go into the uh, function again play world camera shake the shake is our desert eagle camera shake and the center is our get actor location oops get actor location the inner radius yeah like 100 and the outer radius 120 compile save and let's test it so when we shoot and we fire it will move a little bit camera will play a little shake so i think this is okay so now um Oh, I can see a little problem. When we're aiming, it's like the breathing is pretty weird. So let's go ahead and fix this real quick. Go into your procedural aiming and just go ahead and under aim. Let's grab our spring arm and let's say set enable camera lag. And copy this and under when we're not aiming set this to true. So now oh, alright so this looks a bit a bit weird so let's do it in another way maybe like um Set camera leg speed to 1 and here to 3. So let's look real quick. Okay. Ah, okay. So let's set it here to like 9 or something. Twenty. Okay, now we can see this little bug. So, okay, so let's set the. So let's set here under the spring arm, the maximum, the camera like maximum distance. And let's set it to zero point oops set it to zero point three copy it and put it here and set it to one so now when we're aiming okay it's a bit better but also we can see it here so Let's set the speed to like 5 as default. Alright. So 
now let's uh, go ahead and just go into the marketplace and let's search for military weapons and here is the military weapon stock or the military weapon silver what did you want and just uh, grab it it's free and add to your project so click it and then select the version and yeah so with this we go into the next part so this was a little part where we fixed some bugs and some other things so we started with the fire and in the next part we will go on with this pack from the marketplace and some other things so leave ideas in the comments and have a good day and bye bye